Hi students, what's the backbone of solving problems? Yes, of course, it's the numerous formulas and its units, right? Well, learning them and registering them in our minds has always been a tedious job, isn't it? This time, it's Anita Raj here to help you all with the easy techniques of absorbing them into your minds from the chapter Electrochemistry. Fine, we shall start from the basics. By the way, what do you mean by resistance? See, resistance every conducting materials offers some obstruction to the flow of electricity okay that obstruction is called as resistance normally resistance is represented by the term capital r and it's usually measure, measured in terms of ohms okay it's measured in ohms so the unit of resistance is ohms right and the a symbol is also there and it's like this so this represents ohms okay so this is the obstruction offered during uh, flow of electricity then what do you mean by conductance see conductance is represented by the term capital c see actually conductance is the ease with which the current flows through a conductor what do you mean by a conductor the a material or substance which allows a current to pass through okay so conductance is the ease with which the current fl flows through a conductor right it's a, normally it's a reciprocal of resistance that is it's the inverse of resistance conductance okay so it's represented as capital c is equal to 1 by r since it is the reciprocal of resistance okay then how how to write the unit see what's the unit for this resistance it's ohm is it not so the oh, it can be written as 1 by ohm that is equal to ohm inverse 1 is it not ohm minus 1 this can also be uh, written as that's another term ohm for ohm minus 1 it is more you can represent using more also then what is the term right so what is the simple for this okay minus 1 okay and that is also another term another unit that is Siemens yes e E M E N Siemens. It can be represented by the term yes. Okay, Siemens. So these are all the different units for conductance. That is one by ohm. Ohm minus one or ohm minus one can be written as mo. And what's the uh, simple for that? This is the simple. Okay, minus one. And this mo or ohm minus one is also can also be written as Siemens. That is capital yes so these are the different units understood students so next is the specific resistance or resistivity specific resistance can be otherwise called as resistivity <coughs> and its you its a uh, term is rho rho represents specific resistance what do you mean by specific resistance it is the resistance offered by a conductor having unit length okay so unit length and unit area of cross section Okay, so what do you mean by specific resistance? It is the resistance offered by the conductor having unit length and unit area of cross section. So, how can you represent, represent this specific resistance or resistivity rho? Rho is equal to R resistance offered by a conductor having unit length L and A, a unit area of cross section. So, R into A by L. How will you uh, uh, find out the uh, unit for this one? It is very simple. What is the uh, unit for ohm? So, for this resistance, it is ohm, is it not? For resistance, it is ohm. Okay. For uh, area, it is centimeter square. Am I right? Okay. For length, it is centimeter. So, when you are simplifying this, so you will get ohm centimeter is it not so ohm so the final unit is ohm centimeter understood students so this is the unit for specific resistance that is next important term is specific conductance or conductivity see it is represented by the term kappa okay it is uh, represented by the term kappa and what is specific conductance or conductivity it is the conductance of 
one centimeter cube of an electrolytic solution okay so if the electro electrolytic solution is one centimeter cube then the conductance offered by that solution is called as specific conductance or conductivity so it is the conductance of one centimeter cube of an electrolyte normally it is the reciprocal of specific resistance okay what is specific resistance rho is it not so it is the reciprocal of the specific resistance uh, that's why kappa is equal to one by rho so how will you uh, simplify this normally what is uh, what is uh, uh, rho what is rho it is rho is equal to see rho is equal to a by l is it not uh, rho is equal to a by l r into a by l so the reciprocal of this will give kappa that is specific conductance understood so 1 by rho 1 by rho this can be written as so l divided by r resistance into area of cross section so this is the formula then how to arrive at the uh, unit for this kappa how to arrive at the unit for this kappa come on right length what is the unit for length it is centimeter is it not centimeter divided by what is the unit for resistance it is ohm then again for uh, area it is centimeter square so now simplify this one how will you simplify so what could be the final one it is ohm minus 1 is it not ohm minus 1 then centimeter minus 1 is it not ohm minus 1 or centimeter minus 1 this can also be written as more ohm minus 1 can be written as more and then centimeter minus 1 is it not is it not and what is ohm minus 1 what is the other other unit it's Siemens is it not ohm minus 1 can also be written as Siemens right Siemens centimeter minus 1 understood students e Siemens centimeter minus 1 this can be simply written as Siemens centimeter minus 1 so these are the different uh, uh, what to say units for the specific conductance ohm minus 1 centimeter minus 1 or more centimeter minus 1 semen centimeter minus 1 or uh, yes centimeter minus 1 understood students next one is cell constant <coughs> what is cell constant see the cell constant can be represented by the term capital G normally the quantity L by A is called a cell constant that is length unit length by unit area of cross section okay that is G now uh, there is a formula which relates conductivity that is a specific conductance conductance and the cell constant okay we will we'll write that so what is the uh, term for a conductance or specific conductance it is kappa is it not it is kappa kappa is equal to the conductance kappa is equal to conductance into cell constant conductance into cell constant then how can you find out uh, cell constant g is equal to kappa that is specific conductance divided by conductance okay this uh, 1 by now see 1 by conductance that is 1 by conductance can be written as resistance it's not 1 by conductance is resistance so this can also be written as this is another formula or kappa into into resistance understood students if if uh, the cell constant if you are asked to find out the cell constant and if you are given the specific conductance as well as the resistance you can use this formula if suppose specific conductance and conductance are given you can use this formula understood so these are the different and if suppose if specific conductance is asked and if the cell constant and conductance are given then you can use this formula so these are the different types of formulas you can utilize okay now how to arrive at the unit for this one come on what is the unit for this kappa it is ohm minus 1 is it not ohm minus 1 centimeter minus 1 what is the unit for this resistance it is ohm minus 1 is it not ohm it is ohm right it's not ohm minus 1 it is ohm then when you are simplifying this these two gets cancelled and finally the unit is centimeter minus 1 understood students see these units are very important you may get the questions from this unit side also okay objective type of questions is all possible next one is equivalent conductance lambda equivalent what do you mean by equivalent conductance actually it is the conductance of all the ions furnished or produced by one gram equivalent of an electrolyte 
see if one gram equivalent of electrolyte is there and it, and this electrolyte will be undergoing dissociation and it will be producing ions and those ions will be uh, having that conductance is it not so the conductance offered by all the ions produced by one gram equivalent of an electrolyte normally a uh, volume containing one gram equivalent of an electrolyte will be thousand divided by equivalent okay so this will be equal to volume so how to write the arrive at the formula for equivalent conductance equivalent conductance is equal to conductance offered by the whole volume of the solution so volume of the solution is 1000 by equivalent is it not because it is uh, uh, it is the conductance offered by all the ions produced by 1 gram equivalent of a solution so kappa into 1000 by equivalent how to arrive at the uh, unit for this it is easy what is the unit for kappa it is ohm minus 1 centimeter minus 1 see this 1000 can be written as centimeter cube is it not 1000 can be written as centimeter cube so centimeter cube into centimeter cube divided by equivalent now simplify this one this one gets cancelled and this becomes 2 is it not so we can write as ohm minus 1 centimeter square and when this comes to the numerator it becomes eq minus 1 okay so this is the unit for equivalent conductance ohm minus 1 can also be written as semen is it not so siemens or, or we can write as siemens centimeter square equivalent minus 1 understood so these are the different types of units for equivalent conductance understood students next one is molar conductance it is represented by the term lambda m okay suffix m so molar conductance what do you mean by molar conductance it is the conductance offered by all the ions produced by one gram mole of an electrolyte okay it is the conductance offered by all the ions produced by one gram mole of an electrolyte what do you mean by one gram mole of an electrolyte it's a one molar solution it is the conductance offered by one mole all the ions produced by one molar solutions okay see normally the volume of an electrolyte containing one gram mole of an electrolyte is it is represented as thousand thousand by molarity okay this will give the volume right so now we are making we are going to make use of this term right so what is a molar conductance it is the conductance offered by a um, uh, a solution containing one gram mole of an electrolyte so kappa into thousand by m okay now we are going to find out the unit for this one right what is the unit for kappa it is ohm minus one centimeter minus one and then this uh, thousand can be written as centimeter cube right so what is the this here we can write a centimeter cube then this one molarity mole okay now we are going to simplify this so now this becomes ohm minus 1 centimeter square and this mole when it comes to the numerator it becomes mole minus 1 so this is the unit okay now this can also be written as <coughs> siemens ohm minus 1 can be written as siemens centimeter square okay mole minus one so this is the unit for molar conductance understood students next one is the we are going to find out the relationship between uh, lambda equivalent and lambda m that is equivalent conductance as well as molar conductance so the formula which relates the equivalent conductance and molar conductance is this lambda m is equal to molar mass divided by equivalent mass into lambda equivalent that is equivalent conductance okay so what is molar mass divided by equivalent mass molar if we are dividing molar mass by equivalent mass we will get the valency okay so it is equal to valency into lambda equivalent so if you are having these two terms if you are having the uh, equivalent conductance as well as valency it is possible to calculate molar conductance understood students fine students we have seen some of the formulas and units in this session we shall see the rest of the formulas and units in part 2 until then it's anitara signing off from you thanks for watching